everybody as you can see i will be doing this in the car today and i just wanted to do this as a quick one don't mind my sniffles i i okay i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say it don't mind me my face will be over here for a moment remember how i said it before i think youtube gave uh, we creators a little virus I'm not kidding <laughs> so I'm just gonna suggest and right now and you know they're not a sponsor I don't have sponsors um Bath and Body Works has their little mini candles on sale today for a dollar ninety five for their mini candles so if you can get like their little mini aromatherapy candles um get the eucalyptus spearmint one burn that that'll help open you up that will help open you up so um what i did was wash my face which i do in the morning anyway and i do at night and um since we're doing on the go i don't bring my eyeliner with if i have to do an on the go look bring something small and convenient if you have to do on the go um so, um, I will be substituting eyeliner with the tip of this, um, mascara. And, of course, since the weather's gone cold again, I'll just be using this. Of course, that's from Bath and Body Works. Um, but yeah, I've got the sniffles again, I've been coughing again, my throat's, eh, but um, anyway, we'll get into this. And of course, you know, the Wet n Wild palette comes with the brush and the little spongy applicator. But, you know, go ahead and go into the lighter one. Just take that under the eye. That's what I'm going to start with. Instead of just starting with here. Because we're doing the on-the-go look. And, I don't know, I didn't really sleep that much last night. I don't know. Maybe it's because the upcoming changes. And, Isabel, your video was awesome. Glad you did it. If you haven't yet checked out Isabella Throne, Glad to see that you finally revealed your ring. It's so gorgeous. I don't think rings have to be big, chunky. I really don't. To be beautiful, they don't have to be big and chunky, flamboyantly huge things to say that a man cares about you. Um, so, anyway, to get into the eye. I, I, Captain. Anyway, we're going to go back into that color I just put under the eye. You don't have to take that lavender color, which we can mix, obviously, right here. And then, voila. Although, you know, I wouldn't highly, highly recommend them because you could look dead. Um, <laughs> you could, you could end up looking a bit dead. But it's an on-the-go thing. You know, you're on the go. You're just going. And you're on the go. And of course, yes, I do keep the napkins with me. It's just a thing I have. If I'm on the go, of course I'm going to have something to clean my brushes with. It's, it's become the habit. It's a habit, not a hobbit. Um... It's a habit for that. And if you really wanted to, you could just take it and, of course, just soften it out. Just, you could just soften that back out. Of course, yes, I did pull my hair back for this. But, um, like I said, this is just an on-the-go look. If you're busy, if you don't feel too good, you don't feel like doing too much to your face, hey, whatever, this is the thing for that. 
This is, this is the thing for that. Yeah. And then just take that up there. You're good. Right up there. You're good. You're good to go. Because we're not going to use that dark tone yet. You're not using that yet because we still have to do our brow. To go into the brow. The brow. <laughs> do you know what we do before we go into the brow? <laughs> Sorry, the drooling part is happening. That's why I said I didn't sleep much last night. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens. So, again, I'm using natural light because I'm outside. I'm doing my makeup in the car. Now, um, I used to do my makeup in the car on my way to, like, uh, I would be hurried and, like, hurry up, we gotta go to the military base, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I was like, screw this crap. And I would get so nervous that my face would just, like, be horribly broke out from anxiety attacks being beaten on like my face would be so broke out from being nervous all the time I didn't know how much trouble I would get in if I did hurry and how much trouble I would get in if I wasn't quick enough so um I just start I was like screwed I'm just gonna do my face in the vehicle so that's how I started doing my makeup in the car and I just got used to it see what I mean you just take the end of your mascara brush and just voila. just take it like that and you have instant eyeliner Instant brow. Don't worry too much about your brows, though. It's your face. It's your face. You don't want to go heavy on the brow. Don't go heavy on the brow. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, my coffee's stuck. You know, I didn't purchase a coffee today. I made one at home. Stuck thing now. <laughs> Wawa pumpkin spice coffee. And I put um a raw sugar, one raw sugar, and some cinnamon in it with the van French vanilla coffee creamer. That's the best taste with the Wawa Pumpkin Spice Coffee. It's a recommendation for me. Um, if you have a Wawa near you and they still have the Pumpkin Spice Coffee, that's the thing. If you can buy it. I know they don't have it like in their coffee section anymore. Or, like Just go over and get it. But you can buy it and make it at home. I make it with my Keurig. Which is so great. Just to make it in your Keurig. Or you can get it in the, the loose coffee and make it in your coffee pot. Which is great. I don't have a mirror today except for the one in the car, which would make it like harder for you guys to like see what I'm doing here. Um, and like I said, you know, take the end of this, which would be a little weird for me on this side, which means I'll have to use a mirror. So you'll have to excuse that for just a moment. Yeah, 
like I said, it's one of those epilepsy days. Irene's out down at the creek. Irene is out. <laughs> It's my friend, friend's uncle's dog. If you saw the Darby Creek painting, and you saw that there's a dog in it, that would be Irene. Irene's a good dog. She is. She was a rescue dog. She um was rescued because some people were harming her by using her for breeding like a puppy mill and that that's never good for using a dog as a puppy mill so she was rescued and she is the sweetest sweetest um pit bull breed you know original breed not the taller one um, so she's original breed, so she's the shorter stout one. But she's the sweetest thing. She loves babies. She loves babies. She would never hurt a baby. It's because she's been a mama. And see, now I am back at Ida. I can see that part. <laughs> so it's probably back in the mirror, Bob. <laughs> and now I know that you guys can see that. <laughs> yeah, at least I know you guys can see that. Um, but yeah. So if you're on the go and you have to use that mirror anyway, at least it's there. And, um, yeah, at least it's there. Now, I don't know if this little brush will work for that, but we will test that out. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, hey, whatever. Because you guys know that there's that dark color in there. Sort of does. Sort of. Accident limp. If I can't see it too good, then I'll go back to using the mirror, which is what I'll probably have to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's Christmas light display. And I'm glad I was able to add the music into that. can't wait to be able to bring you next week's videos. You guys are going to enjoy that. Oh my gosh. It's guaranteed. Oh, see? Like, it's a good thing that there's a mirror in the car. We can fix that. Oh, it's like grandma just came and helped your face. If you want to know, I am somebody's grandma. I'm 44 years old. And um, I didn't know I was 44 until the woman that raised me made an oops and spilled the beans by mistake. All this time, I thought I was older. Until she spilled the beans by mistake. Um, yeah, seriously. Um, so I thought it was much older. But yeah, um, I'm not going to do too much with the eye. Because I've been, you know, you really don't want to do too much with the eye. Because if you're really sniffly lately, you just kind of want to leave it like this. Kind of, you know, light. Um, this is kind of a good fall winter look. Also, um, something you could take for the, uh, you could probably use this as a party look. 
an evening party look as well. And of course, you know, I have thought I lost my hand sanny forever. This is what's left of it. My vanilla bean null hand sanny, which I'm leaving upside down for now to get the rest of it out. <laughs> and I thought I lost it in the car forever. And um, it matches this. My lip gloss. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better on my lips. My lips have been so chappy. Um, if your lips have been really chappy, and the other thing you can get at a bargain, bargain price at Bath and Body Works, Bath I'm brain farting my words. I'm sorry about that. Bath and Body Works. And like I said before, um, use your electronic coupon. And it's guaranteed that you will save enormously, enormously on your shopping experience. I know they have their normal thing of uh, buy three get three free at the end of the year they always have their end of the year sale where you're getting three dollars a bottle and then my thing is check your electronic coupon to use that with it and then you're saving more money excuse me um and that is my recommendation because I will be able to get six months worth of soaps and lotions for $25. You can't beat that. And then use an electronic coupon on top of that. And you're saving more money, which means you're spending less. It's getting chilly out here. And my friend left the freaking window down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. If you're doing a look on the go and you don't want to bring a lot with you, um, like I said, I had already moisturized. Um, I washed my hands, so that was okay. And then I used the hand sani. And then, you know, you can use the hand sani after, which is always great to have a hand sani with you. Um, and, oh my God. It's like in the 40s here today, but it's like really cold in the 40s. And then it's like really weird. I, yeah, I told you guys this. It's supposed to be in the 60s on Sunday. It's like extremely nuts that it's going to be that weather. But anyway, guys, this was a really quick makeup. Um, under 20 minutes. <clears throat> Actually, I think I did more talking than I did makeup because it was just the eyes and a lip that's it just the eyes and the lip i didn't put on any foundation i think it really depends on your skin tone um if you have any um skin problems if you need to cover any blemishes uh if you well, I'm pretty sure that if you binge watched, you notice that it get really dark during the summer. And then, um, I, I keep tan, but my tan gets lighter during the winter. But, I don't know if you can tell, but, um, you know, I still have my tan, but it's a lighter tan. And, uh, yeah sometimes I don't need foundation it just depends on my day you know we all have that day we all have that day where sometimes we'll need foundation sometimes we don't and uh, sometimes we just have to do our eyes and a lip and sometimes we just have to touch up around the redness on the nose because I know sometimes I get that and like I've had that lately that's why I've been like putting out that joke like <laughs> YouTube gave us creators a virus. I don't blame YouTube for that. They 
gave us some sort of virus. Um, so I'm going to end this. Stay happy, stay healthy while we can try. <laughs> stay positive. As always, stay blessed. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing any other Christmas light videos in case you wanted to know that. I don't know what the plan is on that yet. Because if I do, um, you'll know. Um, I did video number seven yesterday. So I don't know if there will be video number eight. I feel like I'm picking up on a vlogmas thing. I didn't plan on doing that. No, I didn't plan on doing that. But I did a Christmas light one, I guess. Um, it didn't hurt. Uh, some people enjoy that. Like I said, if you can't get out due to a disability, if you're a veteran in a hospital, if you're, you know, if there's children laid up in hospitals like Dornbecker's, uh, CHOP, um, St. Jude's, Shriners, especially since I was a Shriners kid and they can't get out and see the pretty Christmas lights, make sure that they're aware of the videos, like my videos for doing the Christmas lights. And I'm telling you, these kids will be absolutely happy that somebody is showing you know, driving around doing the Christmas lights. These kids would be absolutely happy to be like, oh, Christmas lights. Talk to the hospitals and say, hey, we know these kids can't get out to go see Christmas lights. And there's a YouTube creator that did these videos I've just, you know, she had somebody drive her around and, you know, especially Shriners because I was a Shriners kid and say, since she was a Shriners kid, um, she would like to share this with the other Shriners kids or the other kids, you know, um, because that's my way of giving back. That, you know, I'm not a Shriner. I would love to be in that part, of, you know, in that organization. I can't afford it. I would love to give back to that organization. Um, I really would. Uh, by giving back to, to those kids, you know, if they can't get out to see the pretty Christmas lights, I would love to bring that to them through my channel. I really would. They, they deserve that. So, um, oh my gosh, if I talk about that, I'm going to get emotional, but yeah, any way possible to give back to the Shriners community, um, because they gave to me trying to help me out, trying to figure out what was wrong. Why couldn't I walk? You know, they were so serious and trying to figure out why can't you walk? What is wrong? We got to try to figure this out. They couldn't figure it out. To this day, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, why couldn't I walk when I was a kid? What was wrong? It wasn't polio. What was it? Because I was always given weird shots that the other kids didn't get. Um, was I being used for a guinea pig that I didn't know about? Um, that is quite the possibility. And, um, Shriners didn't know. But if I could give something back to the Shriners kids and give back something to Shriners, it would be to make those kids happy by letting them see, you know, driving around, you know, if the VA hospital, you know, those veterans can't get out and because they're cooped up in the hospital, it doesn't matter their age, um, 
because they're cooped up in a hospital somewhere, whether it's stateside or overseas. And they're like, crap, we, we can't drive around and see Christmas lights. Well, there's a YouTube creator that drove around, you know, had somebody drive around. And, you know, he's a military veteran and Christmas light displays. Why not? Um, it's giving back. And as you had seen in last night's video on that one display or on several displays, actually, it says Merry Christmas. I mean, come on, we're able to say this again. And I can give like a crap what other people say. It's Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Merry Christmas. Christmas. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what I want everybody to have. And a happy new year. <laughs> hey. How you doing? Hi to both of my viewers. So this is the look that I did for today. And then um, I was just talking about like I did seven videos for Christmas lights. You know, well, Christmas light displays. And I don't know if I'm going to do an eighth one yet. But... If you know of any children's hospitals, like I said, I was a Shriners kid. If you know of like veterans that can't get out or elderly people that can't get out, you know, to see the Christmas light displays, you know, at least I've done some videos that could bring some happiness to somebody. Hi, Ben. <laughs> How are you doing? But yeah, if you know anybody that can't get out to see the uh, Christmas light displays because they're just unable to, um, you know, at least I have put up the videos that um you know people can actually you know go on to my channel you have the videos there that you can look at the lights enjoy them it doesn't matter who they are Enjoy the Christmas lights. They're there for you to enjoy them. Last night's video, I'm glad I could incorporate the music into that. I think that gave it a little more. Um, just to make it, you know, a little more cheerful. And then be able to get out of the car and walk around. Even though I had to use my cane. I'm back to having to walk with a cane. Um, I have to check with doctors and make sure I'm not back to using a wheelchair soon because that's going to suck. Um, I'm almost, almost nine years out of a wheelchair that I was in for five years. So if I have to go back to a wheelchair, that's going to be unfortunate, but I'll deal with it. I'll just deal with it. No big deal. I'll just deal with it. Whatever. My health insurance covers that equipment. Um, so, 
I mean, I had a power wheelchair before and it wasn't uncomfortable. I was able to put a car seat cover over it, you know, like something that you put in a car, one of these kind of covers. But I had a really cool one with like a skull <laughs> on it. I, I love skulls. For some reason, the anatomically correct ones are my thing though. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I, uh, I just, I wasn't going to let life get me down even in a wheelchair. I was wanting to get out, go experience things, uh, just take my wheelchair, a power cord, and you know, places were willing to let me plug in and charge even my old job. They were like, do you need to plug in your chair? Oh my gosh, you can come in here and charge your chair. It's okay. You can just sit in here as long as you want. And the other workers were like, why is she in here? And they're like, it's none of your freaking business. She used to work here. And we're the managers. Who are you to talk to us like that unless you want to lose your job? And they're like, oh, uh, we are sorry. <laughs> and I had offered to buy my own boss's coffee and, and stuff. And they're like, oh no, you don't have to do that. You are our favorite employee. <laughs> I kept that store so spotless. Um, I did. I had kept the store so spotless. And I helped with the windows displays for Christmas because I had come in early one day and uh, had seen my manager, Carol. She was trying to do the window display. And she's like, oh. And I'm like, Carol, what's wrong? I'm like, do you need help? And she's like, you're an artist. She's like, can you do the window? She's like, I just can't get this. And I'm like, oh, just step down from the ladder. I'll take over. No big. She's like, go clock in. I'm paying you for this. And I'm like, no, it's okay. She's like, clock in. I'm paying you. So I clocked in, got up on the ladder. And she's like, you're getting paid for this because she's like perfect she stood outside the window and she's like you got this spot on from the picture she's like that this she took a picture of the display while i was doing it sent that to corporate for new york and company and she's like they got back to her and she's like they said that was the most perfect spot on display that they have ever seen. But that's how it was supposed to be. So um, anyway, guys, this went on longer than I thought it was going to <laughs> because I'm just rambling now. But um, the sun is hitting me. Oh, the warm, warm sun through a window makes my arthritis feel better. Um, but and Irene is barking and that's okay. Irene is so cute. But I'm going to put my makeup in the middle console of the car, which is right here. And uh, if you guys want to know, we actually, if we need to charge, you can get this at five below. I do actually shop there. If you need to charge two phones at once when you're in the car and you have one of the cigarette lighter things, get one of these. Although I don't recommend the one with the rubber around it because that one doesn't stay too good. Although I'm sure you could take the rubber off. I have a hangnail. Sorry, you guys saw that hangnail. Ow. Um, take care of that real, ow, real quick. Um, I don't really recommend the ones with the rubber piece right here. I would say get the one with the metal piece right here or cut the, I don't know if you can cut the metal or the rubber piece off of that. I'm pretty sure you could. 
but this one doesn't really stay down that good. This is my favorite one. This is the one I've been charging my battery on while we're driving around. This one stays a little green light. There's a little light right here. When that goes green, that means that you can charge. And I always keep a cord for charging my phone. If he needs to charge his phone, he has to bring his cord with him. And if somebody treats you like shit, bring a poop emoji and remind them. <laughs> you didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> no, you didn't. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do that again. Wait, wait, wait. If somebody treats you like shit, bring a poop emoji and remind them. <laughs> Don't treat you like shit because you're not a sucker. <laughs> Hand sanity. Oh, especially since I took the hanging off, you know? Got the hand sanity over that so it doesn't get infected. Um, but anyway. Uh, like I said, we're going to end, really end this now. So really stay happy. Really try to stay healthy because we all need to. <sighs> stay happy. I just bring part of my old outro. Say happy, stay healthy, stay. Oh my God. Say happy, stay healthy. Stay. <laughs> okay. You guys have to help me with this. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys later because I'm just brain part of my outro because I need more coffee. Yeah, I'll really see you guys later because my brain's going. <laughs> Maybe it's not fire that YouTube gave us creators. <laughs> right? Right. Okay, I'm going to have my coffee and I'll see you guys later. Love <laughs> ya.